Hi there. So this is the Central Electronics 100V transmitter again, and I'm debugging it. So what I'm finding, at least on my transmitter here, is I can't really run the thing unless I'm running about 90 volts because I over voltage. I put a 200V power supply into this 100V, including a 200V transformer, and I went to solid state entirely. I don't have the power supply figured out yet. At any rate, I'm running this thing on about 90 volts because that's about all I can do to get it to not over voltage. So here's my line reading and it's not up to the center like it should be, but I'm putting about 90 volts in this thing. And with that, I have the filaments all running and I pretty much have decent voltage in this thing. So if I say measure the low B plus here, which comes in about here and you'll see rut. You will see this low B plus should be around 340. I'm coming in about 370 when I'm running uh, 90 volts into this thing. So that's all I'm going to do with it. Uh, if I want to measure the 150 volts that's on a pink wire here, just find the pink wire. That's the regulated 150 volts from the uh, OA2 regulator. There's the pink wire there. You'll see I'm running decent regulated voltage all right so anyway and the high voltage is all existing on these uh broadband coils the joe bachelor coils so if i hit this thing here that's about 640 volts that's reasonable if i crank the primary on the transformer up to 123 volts I'll, this will go to 900 volts this will go to 500 so i don't want to do that i will blow up the capacitors and i'm not sure why i can't crank it up yet but i want to get the transmitter working because it seems like i have decent voltages to debug it anyway i'm looking at the uh eight megahertz oscillator i don't have any transmit on this thing right now and nothing at all nothing coming out so i find that the eight megahertz oscillator is funky and if i simply measure the plate coil voltage on this little guy it'll kick on the oscillator. So I'm going to try and tweak the plate tank circuit here and see if that'll make it work. But there's the uh, blue wire there going to the uh, tube. And if I hit this thing with some uh, reactants or whatever my meter's giving it, you'll see it'll, it'll pop on and then it, it falls off. So it's got some issues. So anyway, there's my 8 megahertz, and it falls off. Actually, that provides me an opportunity. I can just hold the meter on there and see if I can make it transmit. That might be a worthwhile project. But let's get this thing working. So I'm just going to try and put a, uh, a tuning tool in there and see if I can turn that a bit and make it work. Maybe I could also bend wires around to change the capacitance, but it's it's on the fringe and not working. Okay, that's my little video on the 8 megahertz crystal oscillator. Um, let's see if it's on frequency or not. Is it close? It is pretty much dead nuts on 8 megahertz, so it's pretty close. And it runs, and then it will fall off. Oh, it's running there. I wonder if I could try and transmit now what it would do. Oh, just died out. I gotta fix that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.